minutes soon was fierce and chaotic. Jack's team struck from the shadows, taking out key installations and sowing confusion. The oppressed races rose up, their pent-up rage fueling their attacks. Buildings crumbled, and the air was thick with the acrid smell of smoke and the cries of battle. Jack and his team fought with relentless determination, every move a blend of strategy and desperation. They encountered fierce resistance, but their preparation paid off. Each enemy they faced fell to their coordinated attacks. Amidst the chaos, Jack spotted a familiar figure, Commander Zyler, leading a squad of elite guards. We need to take him out, Jack said, his voice edged with urgency. Laura and Eric flanked him as they approached Zyler. The commander's eyes widened in recognition, then narrowed with contempt. So, the humans think they can defy the Empire? We're not just defying you, Jack retorted, raising his weapon. We're ending you. The confrontation was brutal. Zyler fought with the ferocity of a cornered beast, his guards matching his intensity. Jack's team pressed their advantage, using every tactic they had honed over weeks of training. The clash of weapons and the hiss of energy blasts filled the air. Eric, using his tech skills, disabled Zyler's personal shield. Now, Jack, with a final, decisive strike, Jack brought Zyler to his knees. The commander's eyes blazed with fury and disbelief as he fell. This isn't over, he gasped. Jack leaned in, his voice cold. For you, it is. The mini-climax came with Zyler's defeat a significant blow to the Empire's morale. The rebels cheered, their spirit bolstered by the victory. But Jack knew the fight was far from finished. As the battle raged on, Jack received a message from Lyra. We've breached the palace gates. Dracker is cornered, but he's not giving up easily. The rebel forces stormed the grand courtyard of the Emperor's palace, their battle cries echoing off the towering walls. Jack Hunter led the charge his heart pounding with the weight of their mission. The palace, once a symbol of unyielding power, now stood vulnerable and besieged. Keep pushing forward, Jack shouted, his voice hoarse but resolute. His team, Captain Laura Cross and Sergeant Eric Lee, flanked him, their expressions mirroring his determination. Lyra's voice crackled over their communicators. We've breached the gates, but Dracker's inner sanctum is heavily fortified. Expect fierce resistance. Jack nodded, signaling his team to advance. The air was thick with smoke and the acrid scent of burning metal. They navigated through the labyrinthine corridors, every step bringing them closer to their final confrontation. Suddenly, a squad of Dracker's elite guards emerged from a hidden passage, their weapons gleaming ominously. Ambush! Laura cried, raising her blaster. The ensuing firefight was intense. Jack moved with calculated precision, each shot a blend of skill and desperation. Laura and Eric provided covering fire, their synchronized movements a testament to their training and trust. As the last guard fell, Jack paused to catch his breath. Everyone okay? Just a scratch, Eric replied, clutching his side but managing a grim smile. Laura wiped sweat from her brow. We need to keep moving. Dracker won't wait for us. They pressed on. The palace's opulence a stark contrast to the grim reality of their mission. Marble statues and intricate tapestries lined the hallways, silent witnesses to the unfolding rebellion. Reaching the grand doors of Dracker's throne room, Jack steeled himself. This is it. No turning back. Laura placed a reassuring hand on his shoulder. We're with you, Jack. All the way. With a nod, Jack pushed open the doors. The throne room was vast. Its vaulted ceilings adorned with chandeliers. At the far end, Emperor Dracker sat on his gilded throne, his expression a mix of fury and disdain. You dare defy me? Dracker's voice thundered, amplified by hidden speakers. You are nothing but insects beneath my feet. Jack stepped forward, his gaze unwavering. We're here to end your tyranny, Dracker. Your reign of terror is over. Dracker rose his imposing figure casting a long shadow. Foolish humans, you've sealed your fate. He pressed a button on his throne, and the floor trembled as hidden panels slid open, revealing more guards and automated defense systems. Take cover! Jack yelled as the room erupted in chaos. 
Blaster fire and energy beams crisscross the air, the noise deafening. In the midst of the chaos, Lyra appeared, her lithe form darting through the melee. She reached Jack, her eyes blazing with determination. We need to disable his control center. It's behind the throne. Jack nodded. Laura, Eric, cover us. They moved as one, Laura and Eric laying down suppressive fire while Jack and Lyra dashed towards the throne. Dracker, realizing their intent, bellowed in rage and descended to confront them. Lyra engaged the control systems, her fingers flying over the holographic interface. Keep him busy, she called out. Jack faced Dracker, his muscles tense. This ends now, he declared, launching into a fierce combat. Dracker's strength was formidable, but Jack's resolve was unbreakable. They exchanged blows, the clash of metal and flesh echoing through the chamber. As Jack battled Dracker, Lyra succeeded in deactivating the defense systems. The automated turrets powered down, and the remaining guards hesitated, their advantage lost. Now, Jack, Lyra shouted. With a final, mighty effort, Jack disarmed Dracker and pinned him to the ground. The Emperor's eyes blazed with hatred, but his power was broken. You think this changes anything? Dracker spat. The Empire will rise again. Jack tightened his grip, his voice cold. Not while we stand. The mini-climax came with Dracker's defeat, his once unassailable throne room now a symbol of the Empire's downfall. The rebels, led by Jack and his team, had achieved the impossible, but the fight was not yet over. As they bound Dracker, Lyra oh, approached bro. Jack, her expression one of both relief and urgency. We've won the battle, but the war isn't over. There are still pockets of resistance. We need to secure the city. Jack nodded, his resolve undiminished. We'll finish this, together. The chapter ended with the rebels rallying, their victory a beacon of hope amidst the ruins of tyranny. The palace, it's once a fortress video. There you go. Jackson Carter, a tall, wiry man with a mop of unruly hair and piercing blue eyes, paced his lab in Sydney, Australia. The walls were lined with cutting-edge equipment, and the air hummed with the energy of ongoing experiments. Jackson's reputation as a maverick in quantum physics preceded him, but today was different. Today, he faced the unexpected. His phone buzzed with an encrypted message. As he read, his eyes widened. The Galactic Empire, the most technologically advanced and powerful entity in the known universe, was seeking his help. Their AI system, vital for maintaining fleet operations and overall control, had started malfunctioning.